Back on the lathe again for this project. This three piece pen is the very first thing I made on the lathe and while I like the raw look, it still seems unfinished because of the lack of a clip. I struggled to figure out how I could make a clip and finally settled on a piece of stainless spring steel. It seemed it would be a great material for a clip and is relatively easy to work with. and it will keep the pen from unintentionally rolling across the table. The first step was to put a right angle bend in it. I used some heat so it would actually form and not just resist with the springiness. If you've watched my other videos, you might have seen that I've attempted to blue some metal before without success, so I decided to try again. So who saw the torch immediately burning through the foil coming? I thought it would be a good idea so less heat was wasted heating up a base plate, but as it turns out I needed one anyway. After about 10 or 15 minutes, I decided to quench the clip and take a look. Maybe I didn't or couldn't get it hot enough as it's definitely only more of a light straw color, especially when compared to the original silver. Not really what I was going for, but it will make a nice transition to the brass trim piece. Next, I decided to turn a small end piece for the clip out of brass.
With the clip pieces made, a small hole needed to be drilled in the top of the cap to accept the new clip. After trimming and test fitting the spring steel and brass piece, the last thing to be done is final assembly using a few drops of green Loctite. As an added bonus, I decided to put a final touch on it by etching the gear from my channel logo into the top of the rear cap. After using a little bit of muriatic acid, I followed it up with some aluminum black as suggested in the comments on one of my other videos. It turns out aluminum black is just a different cocktail of acids that turn the aluminum a much darker color without damaging the underlying aluminum as much.
I'm really impressed with how well it works and how nice the gear came out. If you're interested, I'll link the spring steel and aluminum black as well as the vinyl cutter and vinyl I used to make the stencil for etching in the description. Otherwise, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. As always, clicking like and subscribe is hugely appreciated. Thanks!